Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Alan. Welcome to Tea for LT Twitter episode. On Tea for LT, we introduce you to a new piece of technology and provide an example on how to use it in a specific course taught here at Kirkwood. Twitter is a website that asks users to answer a question, what are you doing? Users have 140 characters per tweet to keep their friends, family, and others updated. Many people use Twitter for personal communication, but others are using Twitter for professional purposes. Users post tweets through the web or from their mobile phones via text messages. Other tools like blogs can be integrated with Twitter so all your followers know when you've posted something new. Following means that you are subscribed to a user's updates. It's similar to friending people on Facebook or subscribing to someone's blog. Twitter and other similar services are actually sometimes called microblogs. Mm -hmm. And if you are following my microblog, micro whenever I post, you will receive a text message or receive updates on the web. It all depends on your personal preferences. The updates are instantaneous. Post or get breaking news from Twitter before the mainstream media or bloggers. For example, when the U.S. air flight landed in the Hudson River, Twitter users actually broke the story before major news outlets such as CNN. Twitter is also starting to catch on in academic settings. I personally use it to connect with other instructional designers. Your followers create a virtual audience for quick answers to nagging thoughts or questions. In online courses, Twitter could be used to facilitate group project communication, research, uh, networking, course announcements, or even promoting a social atmosphere. One of the course objectives for principles of marketing is to describe the role of internet in business marketing. And since Twitter is be already being used by companies for marketing purposes, students could choose to select companies of interest on Twitter to follow. Each week, the student might be asked to share their findings on a discussion forum about how that company used Twitter to market a product or brand identity. Yeah, and then you could have students follow more than one company and ask them to describe each company's use of Twitter, comparing and contrasting the effective... Uh, Emily, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was just posting to Twitter that uh, we're about to wrap up this episode. Oh, well, feel free to follow us on Twitter then. Links are in the show notes. Thank you.